one of the most uh, dominant story of the day here in the Gambia because Justice Mumodu S.M. Chalo has told the Banjul High Court that Bubakar Bob Keta is not the biological father of baby Mohammed, reading from a DNA result that also excluded fellow uh, paternal suspect Pamodu Jam from being the biological father of the late uh, toddler. Justice Jalo announced his acquittal and discharge of Bubakar Keta. Bob Keta was facing a single charge of rape. He was alleged of raping his ex wifes younger sister, who was said to be a minor at the time, resulting in a pregnancy. The trial ran for nearly two years and had gained huge public attention. Mafuji Sise has been keenly following the court proceeding, and he now tells us more in this report. Reading the results of the DNA analysis, the presiding judge also told the court that Bob Keta's DNA did not match with baby Muhammad's blood samples and biological samples, and therefore Bob Keta cannot be the father of the child. Bob Keta's lawyer, L.S. Kamara, quickly withdrew his objection to the admissibility of the DNA test as evidence after a dramatic twist that the DNA test results was in fact in Bob Keta's favor. Initially, lawyer Kamara had objected to the admissibility of the DNA test into evidence insisting that he should be served first. State Prosecutor P. Gomez applied for the discontinuation of the trial. A null prosecutor, a null is sought for the Latin legal term, null prosecutor, which means unwilling to prosecute. Filing this application means that the prosecution has decided to drop their criminal charge against Bob Keita. State Counsel P. Gomez urged the court to discharge Bubakar Keita, calling for justice to be served even if it means the heavens have to fall. The defending counsel, Kadijatu Jalo, said the evidence of the prosecution has been close and has not in any way proven beyond reasonable doubts and most importantly as the principles of justice and fairness. Justice S.M. Jalo ruled that the defense counsel is not entitled to rely on section 338 since they have not upon their defense, adding that Bubakar Keta is acquitted and discharged on one count of rape. Prosecution witness 10, Superintendent Edward Kofi Aban, had told the court that every individual's genetics come from the father and mother, and when the profile is generated for the child's DNA, it is accepted that half of the child should come from the father and the other half from the mother. Superintendent Aban further informed the court that the samples for the trial, Mohammed Pamodu Jom and Fatun Gonembai, were brought to the laboratory and the profiles were generated from the individuals mentioned and comparisons were made based on the comparison between Mohammed and Bob Keta. It was deduced that the amount of contribution of genetic material was not sufficient to make Bob included and therefore Bubakar Keta is excluded as the biological father of the late Muhammad. He said this same comparison was done between the late Muhammad and Pamodu Jom, the boyfriend, and came to the same conclusion. The question is, who is the father of the late Muhammad? For iAfrica News, I am Mafuji Sisi.